So today we are doing KW command and MailChimp. So welcome, yeah. This is a sync session. If this is your first sync session, uh, if this is your first sync session, there we go. Uh, let me give you a little bit of a background. Uh, my name is Gabe. I'm with API Nation, and if you kind of remember what API Nation is, but you're not quite sure, um, API Nation is simply a tool you can use to connect different apps, mostly real estate apps. So we've done a lot of work connecting um, KW command to a bunch of other different apps. So today we're going to talk about how you can connect it to MailChimp, what that looks like, how people are using that. Um, yeah, so that's kind of it. You can notice this is not a webinar. You, can, you guys can all see each other. Um, you guys are free to chat, uh, chime in if you have any questions. Um, yeah, I, th I think that's kind of it. It's more of kind of just like an office hours and I'm just going to walk you through um, what it looks like to connect KW command to MailChimp. Um, so yeah, any questions so far or any, any, anything else you guys are kind of hoping gets covered in this, uh, sync session. I'll go, uh, um, yeah, yeah, cool. if you don't mind. So I'm new to KW. So all this is new to me and I am okay. our rainmaker. So okay. if there's anything that's a little different in teams, anything you could point out that could help me there would be good. Perfect. Yeah. Very, very, very simple. Okay, cool. Uh, great. And if anything is unclear as we go forward, uh, like I said, just stop me. Uh, we'll get you some answers. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. It's KW command. Uh, you guys all know at least a little bit about KW command CRM for KW agents and teams, a um, bunch of stuff you can do in here. You manage your contacts, you can create opportunities, um, manage your smart plans. Um, and what API Nation does with KW Command is allow you to use the tools in KW Command alongside other apps. So if you go into the KW Marketplace, I'm gonna open up the KW Marketplace here. It's gonna show you a bunch of different apps and tools you can use as a KW agent, including, doo -doo -doo. let's try. There we go. So this is the KW marketplace here, including integrations from API Nation. So you can see we have a, you know, actually like a couple um, little tiles here. This is about speed to lead syncs. These are Rainmaker and Team syncs. Um, but if you're looking for any apps that you want to connect to KW command, you can just search them here. So let's say you're kind of like, you know what, I like, I like using my iPhone. I'm using it to manage my iPhone contacts. I would love it if my iPhone contacts automatically synced to my KW command contacts. Um, you just search for iCloud or even iPhone, I believe, and you'll see syncs come up that'll allow you to connect iCloud to KW command. If you're a Rainmaker, it'll allow you to do it at a Rainmaker level. Um, if you want to see all of the syncs, you can just click on all products and then come on down here to categories where it says API Nation. Click on that. And you'll see all the different syncs available from API Nation, including some stuff for dot loop, um, which we we put together um, uh, as well. So let's focus on Mailchimp, though. So I'm going to search for Mailchimp. Hey Pam. Yeah, go ahead. I'm good. How are you doing? And uh, you'll see there are three different syncs here. There's dot loop Mailchimp, Mailchimp, and KW Command and a MailChimp's sync for Rainmaker and Teams. Uh, so if you're trying to sync dot loop to MailChimp, I'll just give you kind of the brief what this is. Um, if you have a bunch of contacts in dot loop, if you use dot loop in the past, you've always thought, man, I, I have a lot of people in there and I, you know, I've never, I never got taken the time to get those people out and start marketing it to them. This is like a good way to do that. If you're still using dot loop and still putting people in there and you'd like to have that hooked up to a newsletter, this is a good way to do that. Um, it's going to be pretty similar to what the KW command setup is. This is the one we're going to focus on today. MailChimp and KW command sync for individual agents. If you are a Rainmaker, uh, the big difference here is going to be if you turn it on as a Rainmaker, all the contacts you can see in your KW command, um, even if they're you know assigned to other agents, base with you. all of those are going to be able to sync out to a MailChimp account. If you turn it on as an individual agent, you're only going to be able to sync out the contacts 
and leads that are assigned to you and that are owned by you. So that's the big difference. Um, and that's why there's the big price difference here. So if you're an agent, you turn it on 10 bucks a month, basically all the leads and contacts you're working on in KW Command also get put into your email newsletter list without you having to do anything. And then if you're a Rainmaker, all the contacts, your entire team is working on in KW Command gets put into that email newsletter list. Um, so if you, we do work with some Rainmakers who are like building their teams and it's just, you know, it's one or two people. Um, so in that case, it's probably okay to just use the individual, maybe two individual syncs, you know, one for each of you uh, sync into a MailChimp. That might be the way to go until it makes sense to jump up to 50 bucks, you know? So if, for some teams where it's like 12 people, uh, this makes a lot of sense because it's saving them a lot of time. Uh, but yeah, if there's just like two or three of you, I would just turn on like three syncs and get I don't, them all thinking to this. I don't know if this helps anybody else, but we ran into a glitch with this and it took me like a week to solve it. And oh. so I'll just say out loud that it turns out that you have a team and an individual marketplace. And ah, I didn't yes. know that. So I was trying to add the Rainmaker app from my personal or whatever, my independent um, marketplace. So just in case anybody ever comes to you and says they've tried over and over and over again, I just didn't know there was a second marketplace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the KW, that's a great point. So in the KW marketplace, if you are a Rainmaker and you would like to buy a Rainmaker sync, um, you would normally just click this and go through the purchase. But before you do that, you're gonna, gonna go up to this account hit the drop down and then choose the team account, the company account, and then purchase the Rainmaker. It's not, you know, if you don't do that, it's just not gonna let you purchase it. It's not gonna be like, I purchased it and the sync doesn't work. It's it's just not gonna let you make the purchase. So oh, in order to complete the purchase, make sure to come to your account, choose the team account, and then go ahead and pop that in there. So, there we go. All right, cool. So let's focus on this, uh, what it looks like. And the, and the setup is going to be pretty similar. It's just going to be um, the team account can access many more contacts to sync out. So uh, let me see here. Um, all right, let's go over here to my apps. So once you purchase the sync, it's going to be here in my apps. Everything, I think almost everything you purchase inside the KW Marketplace, any application, any software, they sit here in my apps where you can kind of launch them from here, um, including integrations. So you can see here's the MailChimp and KW Command integration. To set it up, I'm just going to click on it. It's going to take me out to API Nation to make the, uh, to, to finish the setup. Um, you can see there's a few different options on what you can sync. MailChimp subscribers to KW Command contacts, KW Command contacts to MailChimp subscribers, and MailChimp campaign activity you can post as a note in KW Command. This by far is like the most activated MailChimp KW Command sync because what this does, KW Command to MailChimp, is anytime a lead is added to KW Command, automatically also copies and pastes it into your MailChimp as a newsletter subscriber. So that way your MailChimp is always updated with the latest leads and contacts. And you don't have to do like an export and then an import into MailChimp every time you wanna send a newsletter. These things are just now connected and mirror each other. So this is the most common setup. However, your subscription, if you connect these, if you purchase a subscription at the marketplace, you can turn on as many of these as you want. So if this is working great and you're doing some other stuff, you can turn on some of these as well. MailChimp subscribers to KW Command. This is typically only used if you happen to be using MailChimp forms or MailChimp landing pages to capture leads. I haven't talked to too many agents who are doing that, um, but- I do the, that. Oh, you, you guys are doing Just that. Okay, so cool. You know, so I own a cleaning company and yeah, my yeah. Rainmaker status comes from inquiries that are property management related. So yeah. we use these landing pages all the time. So I'm very interested in how they segment. Yeah. And I, I honestly, from what I've seen with MailChimp, I expect more people to be doing it soon because they've put a lot of work in the landing pages, making mm -hmm. them easy to launch. And you stuff, can so. do video yeah. guys. Yeah. They've got like, they've gotten really cool creative. things. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so if you, if you want to dip your toe in that, know that by having this sync purchased, 
you can also turn that on whenever you want. And then the last one is just, you can specify campaign activity. So if you're running a campaign repeatedly, you can set up a sync so that you can ping over if somebody opens the email, if somebody clicks on the email um, into KW command. Um, so let's go with this one. We're gonna activate this one and kind of go through that setup. So I'm gonna hit activate. Uh, a couple of people asking about the recording. Great question. I will send out a recording right after uh, right after we finish, as soon as Zoom finishes processing it, I'll send it out to you guys, no problem. It's a great question. Setting this up, super easy. You're just gonna hit activate on that sync. You're gonna select the KW command account. Probably you only have one, but if you happen to have connected a team account also, just make sure you choose the appropriate one. And then you're gonna connect MailChimp. So you're gonna hit this connect button and it's just gonna ask you for the name of your connection. You can name it after your team. You can name it after you. Uh, and then it's gonna ask you for the API key. You can click here to see where that API key is, or you can see right here uh, where it is. It's basically, if you open up MailChimp, go down to your account and select extras, there's the API keys. And once you paste it in there, you're just gonna hit connect. And then you will then see a connection here, which you could select. Um, so you can see I've connected three different accounts here in the past at different times. This is my latest one in April. And the nice thing about connecting things to like MailChimp to API Nation is once you connect an account, they're just sitting here ready for you to, you know, activate a sync. You don't have to go through and do, you know, grab more API keys or do that every time. It's just the one time. So once you connect your account, it's going to ask you just two simple things. Do you want to sync all the contacts when you turn this thing on? So if you check this box, it's going to take all your existing KDB command contacts, sync them into MailChimp. Um, and build out your email newsletter. For most people, that's great. That's how you want to do it. For some people, um, they actually don't want to do that. They only want to sync over any new contacts, anybody who gets added from today and now on. And the reason you would probably choose that option is if your KW command has you know, thousands of contacts and leads that are messy, that you don't think are really worth contacting, but uh, you know, you do want to start building a newsletter starting today, especially since MailChimp, if you have a MailChimp account, they charge you based on how many contacts and leads you have inside MailChimp. So if you, you know, we've had people who have like 50,000 contacts in KDB command and, you know, they say, you know what, I don't want all 50,000. I don't think that's, you know, they don't all aren't going to be real great on my newsletter. So let's not do that. Let's just start syncing over people from now on and we'll put them on the newsletter and we'll build it up. Can I but then we have a question. Keep... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, what about duplicates? Oh, no. So what if you've already started segmenting because you couldn't figure out the team marketplace and now you want to do your sync? What ha will it create two? Will it recognize them? Do you know? Yeah, it's yeah, it's gonna recognize them. So it's gonna, it's gonna first it's gonna seek to match based on email addresses. Mm -hmm. Um which for MailChimp is going to be really, everybody's going to have an email address because it's it has to have one. So yeah, that's what it's going to do. It's going to say, all right, does somebody with that email address exist? If they do, great. We'll just, uh, we'll keep moving and we'll add anybody else. And what about yep. people? Sorry, one more question. We work our social media. So some people don't have an email and we have a plan to get them. Will it just ignore them? Will it tell us, hey, these contacts don't have an email, they're not coming over? Is that going to create a glitch? Or what's our deal if, there? Yeah, if they don't have an email in KW command, they will not come over into MailChimp. Okay. Um, so they'll hang out. And then as soon as an email is added, you know, as soon as a contact is updated, then they'll come over. Yeah, they'll, they'll get triggered to come over. Um, yeah, no, great question. Um, and then if you're doing it the other way, you know, if you're capturing, I don't uh, I think MailChimp always requires you, even if you're capturing a yes. lead tab. Yeah, okay. Yes. So they're we always going to have it on yeah. our yeah. Uh, Cool. And then you'll just select the audience. So if you have multiple audiences, maybe you have a buyer audience, a seller audience, a uh, FISBO audience, totally up to you. I'm just putting all mine in the same one, real estate clients, and then I'll hit subscribe. And then it's going to create the sync. So this is the actual sync, and you can just activate it if you want. It's set up how you want. If you want to do any final tweaking, this is where you would do it. And some tweaks you could do, for example, are you can use this filter. 
And this is just kind of a general filter. You can filter on anything inside KW command. So for example, maybe you want to just create, um, maybe you're just creating a newsletter for a particular neighborhood. So you could do something like neighborhood named Highlands. And then you're only gonna sync over people from that Highlands neighborhood into a, an audience in MailChimp. And then you could build out a newsletter specifically for that neighborhood with that neighborhood information. So you can do that. Something else we often see agents and brokers do is they'll sync based on tags in KW command. So you, we talked earlier about how you pay for every contact you have in MailChimp. And uh, so another way you can do it is you can filter based on tags and you can say tags contains newsletter. And then you can go through your KW command and anybody you think is actually going to be a good fit for your newsletter. Maybe it's half of your audience. Maybe it's, you know, a, a particular, you, like just your hot leads or your active leads. You can just tag them with newsletter and then those people will come over and get added to your KW command. If you're just trying to build out your newsletter, just go no filter, just send over, you know, all, all the contacts you have. And then finally the mapping. This is just going to show you where the stuff from KW command is going in MailChimp. So email is going to email, first name to first name, last name to last name. Um, if you, it is also going to show you custom fields in MailChimp. So I've made some custom fields. It looks like we have an untitled field, a birthday field, um, anniversary type. So you can map stuff to those. Let me see if I got a birthday. I think KW command has a birthday field. Yeah, date of birth. So you can pop that in there and have that in MailChimp as well. Uh, and then you're, once you have everything kind of set up how you like, you're just going to hit activate. And then this is it. It's running. You can close the window. This is just going to keep running on API Nation, making sure any new contacts you add to KW command get synced over to MailChimp automatically. Um, so whenever you want, you can just pop open MailChimp, fire off an email to your audience and know that it's going out to the latest list. Um, yeah, so any questions about this? If I if I add someone to command and then I don't see them in MailChimp, but it says in command, there's a note that the auto sync happened to MailChimp. Have you encountered that before? Hmm, I haven't. Um... That's interesting that you get a note. I don't think our sync creates a note. Mm -hmm. um, and then let me see here. I know there is actually like a built-in MailChimp sync to command, but it does something a little bit different than what we have set up. Let me see if I can find this. MailChimp yeah, it says sync. note created successfully shared with a pin underscore chimp. Okay. okay. But then when I go to my MailChimp, I don't see the contact. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. So I do know there's like a, a different connection for kw command where you can connect your mailchimp through kw command here's like kind of this article about it and send it through mailchimp so you're actually sending the emails through mailchimp from kw command instead of hopping into mailchimp to send them um, which is kind of what our, our situation is um it could be i mean it could be making a, a note um and it might be just something they added recently where it pops a note in there um, when it gets added to MailChimp and maybe, um, so yeah, let, yeah. Me, let me take a look at that. And they're not showing up in MailChimp is what you said? Yeah, that's the biggest problem. <laughs> when okay. I add people, they're not showing up okay. in MailChimp. And so then I have to like manually add them. Yeah. And they, and do you know if they have an email address in MailChimp or I'm sorry, in KW command? Yes. They do. Okay, cool. Um, okay. Yeah. Let me, let me take a look at that and. I'll pop into your account after this is finished and then we'll see if I can, you know, troubleshoot it. Um, is it gonna, what's, uh, if you don't mind, what's the email address for the your account? Is it? For, for my KW? Yeah, yeah. 
Um, it's just my name, Betsy Landall at kw.com. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll just pop in there real quick and see if I can see anything obvious. And then uh, if it's not, I'll just kind of email you and we'll figure it out. Find, find out where those contacts are going for sure. Um, cool. Let's see awesome. Here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. The last thing I kind of wanted to show you here with MailChimp um, that we've noticed is, let's see here. I'm going to log into our MailChimp here. I, er I mentioned earlier you can create custom fields in MailChimp. And then you can populate those with stuff from KW command. One of the most uh, common questions we get is if I'm using tags in mail or KW command, can I have those tags come over into MailChimp? And the answer is like, kind of, um, let me show you what that looks like. Um, so syncs with tags is, usually a little bit uh you know a little bit complicated but the straightforward way to do it is let's see here this you have your audience so we have our audience called real estate clients and then let's go to audience there we go and then, like I said, you're going to create a, you're going to go here to settings on your audience and you're going to create a custom field. So you're going to go to audience fields and merge tags. And here you can create as many custom fields as you want. Uh, well, not as many as you want. There's a limit, but it's pretty high. It's like 300. Um, and so depending on how much information you're using in KW command that you think would be helpful to have in MailChimp, if there's any information in KW command you think would be, you know, you're going to want to use to trigger a campaign in MailChimp, you're going to want to set up a field in MailChimp so you can capture that information, so you can match it up. Um, so one of the ones we do is KW tags. So I would create a custom field and I would name it KW tags. And then when I'm setting up my sync, I would come down here into settings find the field that's called KW tags. And I titled it KW tags because MailChimp has its own tag system. Unfortunately, it's not open to the API, so we can't sync in, you know, tags from KW into tags from MailChimp. But I can sync my tags from command into a separate field called KW tags. So I can do that. And then whatever I tag people with in KW command will end up in their KW tags field in KW or in MailChimp. Does that make sense? So what you're doing is you're just setting up a separate field to capture KW to receive KW tags, and then you're just mapping it in there. Uh, and this way, because you have them here, so you can see I have this KW tags, and then it would be whatever tags I've tagged it with in KW. Then I can set up little journeys or automations that just look at this field and say, you know, if this field contains the words hot, then you need to trigger my hot campaign. Or if this field ha contains the tag, um, you know, FISBO, then you need to put them on my FISBO campaign. And that's all in the journeys area. You can just tell it, you know, what kind of people you're looking for. And because this field is connected to your tags field in KW command, then you can just, you know, tag people in command and then the tag is going to go over to MailChimp and MailChimp will see it there in that field and then put them on the campaign that you want. Does that make sense? Cool. Well, that's about it. That's, uh, you know, the big chunks there with MailChimp and KW command connecting it through the marketplace. Uh, if you're a Rainmaker, don't forget to change to your team account before purchasing it. And then you're going to want to just start syncing them in there. You can decide if you want to sync everybody or if you want to just sync people from now on or if you want to set up a filter. And then just using that mapping so you can capture as much information from KW command in MailChimp as you want so that you can trigger campaigns uh, intelligently um, and send them out there. The last thing I wanted to cover is, uh, you know, you might have gone through all this all and this is thought, well, that's great. That seems really easy to connect. Um, 
there is email options in KW command. Why not? Why not just use that? And absolutely, if that's working for you, keep doing it. You know, if you, that workflow is working out, the only, you know, the only, the big reason most people will move over to MailChimp, uh, one is for scale, um, because it's just kind of easier to manage stuff in there, manage email campaigns. The other big reason is deliverability. And that's kind of the big reason any real estate agents are using like a MailChimp, a constant contact, a send in blue active campaign, any of those, because those apps and those companies specify or, you know, um, specialize in making sure emails arrive in the inbox, emails you send through them. Last I saw about 92% end up in the inbox, not the spam folder. So by sending them to an app like MailChimp, Constant Contact, Active Campaign, you're going to get more people in the inbox that way. Um, so that would be just something else to consider. If this is working, you know, KW Command is working for you. The people you're emailing already have you in their address book, so you don't have to worry about this band filter, then golden. But if you're emailing, uh, you know, other people who maybe not do not have you in their address book and you're finding yourself in the spam folder, then setting something up like a MailChimp connection so that you can start using MailChimp's uh, power to get into the inbox is uh, something to consider. Cool. Uh, that's about it. If you have any questions, uh, reply to the email you used to get here. Um, the invite that goes back to me. I'm just at, at the computer monitoring those. Um, well, I'll get you an answer. You could also join our Facebook group. Um, I will email that link to you. We have a Facebook mastermind. I'll email that link to you with the recording of this sync session so you can uh, join it if you want. Well, that's about all. Jessica, Jamal, Jesslyn, Betsy, Marie. It was great to have you. Denise. Gabrielle. Uh, I hope to see you on. Yes. Um, hi, I have a question. Do you, uh, I signed up for Zillow. I know this is a different course, but I signed up for Zillow. Do you teach a course on that? Uh, yeah, we will. You know what? I'll set it up uh, for uh, next Wednesday. Does that work? Yeah, that, that'd be perfect. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll do Zillow next Monday for sure. Zillow and KW Command. All right, yeah. Thank you. Cool. Sounds good. Cool. It was great having you guys. I hope to see you around. Jamal, I'll definitely see you next Monday. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.